Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly general reading for the sign of Leo for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo, February 2020? What does Leo need to hear, please, for February 2020? What guidance does Leo need? Taking the whole tablecloth down here. <laughs> All right. Um, wow. So there's some disappointment here. Maybe something you had been hoping for, wishing on. Maybe something hasn't quite worked out the way you thought that it would. Okay. What else do we need to hear for Leo, please? Definitely needing to go within for guidance. And what is the most important message? Interesting. Six of Cups. Libra had just gotten this card also as the most important message. So there's something to that. Um, I feel like there's a strong review of the past for you. And I'm just going to fix this. All right. So there's a strong review of the past here. Um... So with the Six of Cups, reviewing the past, okay, reviewing from one point until now in your life, some kind of matter, a relationship, maybe even a workplace matter. Um, the Three of Swords represents some kind of disappointment. And there could be some kind of conflict here with someone, someone who is all up in their ego, um, someone who was not being truthful, someone who was playing games even. So this is a situation where if someone is messing with you, you might need to walk away from this matter. Um, the nine of cups here representing hopes, dreams, wishes, something that you thought was going to maybe materialize into something and isn't quite working out the way that you expected. You might just need to take a break and walk away from this to gain a different perspective. With the Queen of Wands representing this could be you, this could be another fire sign, uh, but Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. So there is a review of the past happening right now. So something could be coming up for you. Maybe you're even purging from a difficult situation from the past that is coming up. Emotions and feelings under the surface. But with that five, there's a mental conflict. It could be egotistical energy. Someone who was like a backstabber or someone who was playing mind games. It's a narcissistic energy. So if you were dealing with someone like that, whether it was in a workplace, a relationship in the past, something going on in the home, um, Hierophant, it represents possibly a workplace matter or a home and family life matter. There's tradition here. But this is also saying about following a specific set of guidelines for yourself. And with that, this can be a spiritual teacher or guru, right? So this could also represent you confiding in somebody or you going deep within. It's a very spiritual energy. So you may be learning something from this lesson, but this is another five, so it is another challenging energy here in this spread, the way that it is laid out. Um, but, you know, again, it could be dealing with a relationship. So with the Hermit energy and the Hierophant, there's a, a lesson here that you're mastering, but there is a need to really go within, especially with this Four of Swords. So these three energies right here, going within... Paying attention to any kind of synchronicities. I feel like there's a lot of shadow work happening here. The hermit goes through the shadows in order to find the light. And that's what this card even depicts. But doing it in a solitary way. Spending time alone. Going within. 
understanding the lessons, understanding in a deep review of the past and where it has brought you and the lessons you've learned from this matter. Four of Swords, definitely taking a mental break. You may be hermiting right now in your cave, really spending time alone. You could be facing some type of choice or a decision and that's why you're doing this. And this could represent your happiness. So if you're unhappy in a situation, you're doing a review of the past, you're working through the shadows of this situation in order to find the light. Three of Pentacles, so this could represent workplace, this could represent home and family. Maybe there's a need for um, you to come together with somebody else or the matter was that you guys weren't really working together and seeing things eye to eye. This could also represent you rebuilding a certain aspect of your life and that's gonna figure strongly for many of you. So I'm gonna clarify, see what comes up here. But stay away from any kind of conflict or negative energies with that Five of Swords. Anything that's unhealthy brings about anger with you. Um, someone who's hurtful towards you. All right, what's going on with this Five of Swords energy next to the Three of Swords? Clarify that Five of Swords. All right, yeah, so directing your power and cutting this situation out. That energy is unhealthy. Um, if there is mental conflicts going on, I do feel it's going to be a breakthrough here for some of you dealing with that. But the Queen of Swords, it's a well thought out choice or decision. She's directing her power. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. Directing her power to make choices or decisions. Directing her energy. All right, let's look at the Hierophant. Clarify this Hierophant energy. Strength, yeah. So this is a lesson that you're mastering with strength. Um, we have an eight. Eight is a sign of transformation and change. So with the infinity symbol, life goes on. That's a message for some of you. Strength and compassion is needed for this matter, especially for yourself. And that's your sign, Leah, with a strength card. So strength, life goes on. There is a cycle here, but I feel as though what you're mastering is some type of lesson or it's like raising your vibration, becoming aware of what is happening on a higher level, spiritually even. Finding your way, finding the light, working through the darkness with that hermit energy. This is the sign of Virgo. Could be dealing with another fire sign. We have air energy. But there is a need here to take some time out for yourself, however long it may be. These journeys can last quite some time. So if you're going through this, all right. And I wanna look at some Oracle guidance for you from Nature's Whispers. What does Leo need to hear, please? Guidance for Leo. All right, we have several cards here. We have Renewal of Peace. Maintain your childlike spirit. We have make a wish and infinite blessings. I mentioned the infinity sign in the strength card. Life is infinite. Energy is infinite. It can be transformed but never destroyed, right? So we have infinite blessings. So seeing this challenge as a way of growth for your evolution, mind, body, and soul. Maintain your childlike spirit through this matter. Focus on your goals, your wishes, your hopes, your dreams, and continue to follow those. We have make a wish. So no matter how old you are, this is also like maintaining that childlike spirit, directing your energy, making a wish and manifesting that by repeating even mantras like I am receiving this. I am worthy. Those are just examples. And then we have renewal of peace. All right, so with renewal of peace here, you need to definitely take some time out, just like I mentioned. That's what this represents. So if you have gone through a really difficult cycle, something from quite some time ago even, this renewal of peace is saying that you really need to hear your, heal yourself mentally and physically. Connect with nature, connect with animals. Pay attention to the signs and symbols all around you. So make a wish, wish ask a question, and watch that guidance pour in from the universe through numbers, through animals, nature. 
I hope you have an amazing month ahead, Leo. If you'd like to book a private reading, you can follow me on Facebook or Instagram as well. That information is posted in the description box below. Take care.